Good morning, everyone, <clears throat> and thank and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Wednesday, January the 18th, 2017. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning, we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses for the day. This is a subscription room. Uh, please read through the disclaimer. Uh, nobody here is a uh, certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Any trades that you see in Quantum are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, uh, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Um, if you want to check the room out, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. Uh, there's no website, there's no blog, this is not a commercial venture. We do this live in the go-to each morning, and we do live trading analysis during the course of the trading day. So, take a look at yesterday. Yesterday was kind of a weird day. Um, you know, we were, when we were doing our homework, our, we were trading right around the, uh, the 65, and the main hypothesis was a rotation up into the 66, 67 area, find responsive sellers, and then rotate down through to the 57 and 56 area. Um, well, we went up, and then we just we just sort of chopped around uh, all bloody afternoon, and then finally uh, the you know the sellers stepped in and took us down. You can see where the OTF stepped in uh, in the afternoon and and rotated this down as per our hypothesis one. But then they found buying again at the 57, and they rotated back up and uh, closed up in the uh, 62 area. Um, just uh, a lot of chop. Double distribution day yesterday. Overnight, uh, let's do the news first. Uh, news today, we've, yeah, we had CPI, month over month core CPI, came out as anticipated. Uh, 9.15 uh, Eastern Time, we have capacity utilization rate, industrial production, and then at 10 o'clock, we've got the uh, Bank of Canada rate uh, and the monetary policy report and NAHB uh, housing market. And then 11 o'clock, we've got uh, uh, FOC, FOMC member, uh, Cash Carey, speaking. Uh, 11.15, we've got the Bank of Canada press conference. 2 o'clock, we've got the uh, Beige Book. 3 o'clock, we've got the, uh, the Fed uh, uh, speaking. Uh, just a ton of news today, and it continues right through to the end of the week. Tomorrow, we've got a huge amount of news, uh, mainly the most important being the unemployment claims and the building permits uh, and the crude inventory. Uh, and then we've got Yellen speaking tomorrow night, and then on Friday uh, we've got uh, 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 President-elect speaking, we've got FOMC Parker speaking uh, with the inauguration, so lots and lots of news uh, today. Okay, so uh, looking at the uh, looking at the uh, macro to micro, sorry, I was late getting my to my desk again. I didn't sleep much last night. I was up trading. So each day I start my day with a. Uh, Simple candlestick chart. I use a 9 EMA, 20 SMA. Start with the monthly and I work my way down. I'm looking for slope and separation strength of the trend where the trend is being challenged or violated. Any uh, patterns that I'm looking for. Uh, you know, multi-year upward strong trend challenged at the end of 15, beginning of 16. Then they take it back. Then we get the uh, rising three pattern and uh, continuation. And here we are uh, trading. Uh, up near the all-time highs, way above the 9 EMA. Uh, trend is very strong on the monthly. On the weekly, uh, basically the same thing. Uh, we are seeing uh, inside week so far. Uh, 
We had an inside week last week, but the trend is still very strong, and we don't even start to challenge the trend on the weekly until we get down to the uh, 2241 area. Going to the uh, daily, you can see that uh, we are going sideways. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we're in a consolidation. You know, if we break below the uh, 2260 area again where you know we keep coming down and the buyers stepping in between that 53 and 57 area uh, but if we do get below the uh, 60 uh, area we're challenging the trend once again but uh, right now we're holding above it uh, looking at the four hour still this consolidation pattern we're just uh, we're, we're just uh, going sideways and chopping uh, we're in balance. Our uh, microcomposite VPOC for 24 days is sitting at 22.65. We're trading just above it again. It's exactly where we were yesterday about this uh, exact time. Uh, we are holding above the 9 and the 20 right now on the 4, uh, but there's no trend. We're just uh, going sideways. On the 1 hour, uh, we're back above the 9 and the 20. We're starting to get some slope and separation. Uh, they held overnight a uh, very strong uh, uh, move overnight in terms of uh, holding value. And uh, inventory is net long uh, overnight. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're starting to see a uh, possible start of a con uh, another move up, another continuation pattern. Uh, on the 30-minute, we are coming up to uh, near the highs. We do have a weak high uh, overnight at the 22.6850, um, but we're coming just back off of that, just uh, you know, snapping up after the uh, the news at uh, 8:30. Um, we're about to see a MA uh, hug squeeze, possibly a crossover, but uh, hard to uh, to tell uh, just yet. Going to the 15 minute. Nice strong trend. We do have a uh, a uh, inside Mr. Sneaky coming back right now to uh, test the 9 EMA that'll uh, get closed out around 66, uh, 65.75. We did put in a naked cross down here at 64.75. So if we get below the 66, target that naked cross, and then going to five minutes, uh, you can see that. Uh, you know, nice strong trend up, but we're coming back and we're challenging the nine right now, trying to get uh, below it. There is a naked cross down here at uh, 63.75. So if we get below the 65 uh, area target, that uh, naked cross. Taking a look at the big picture structure, here we are. Nothing's changed. We're just sitting in balance right now. Uh, I don't know, I think it's 24 days, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 days, not counting, this is the holiday day here. Uh, but again, another doji day, you can see all the buying that uh, comes in with the, uh, with the dips, uh, and here we are, uh, you know, near the highs of uh, yesterday, near the highs of the Globex, and above the microcomposite VPOC. Nothing changes. I mean, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's incredible uh, that we just continue to chop around in this, uh, this area. Um, key levels to keep an eye on, 69 is now the uh, developing value area high for the microcomposite. Value area low is 51. Uh, I'd be watching the low from uh, yesterday at the uh, at the 50, uh, 57 and a quarter. Anything below 57, I think we get a bigger move down to the 52.50 and come through value. Anything below the 50 area, I'm looking for a move back towards the 44 and a quarter. Uh, that's where the uh, uh, buyer stepped in and accepted price uh, once we broke below the uh, value area uh, and then ripped us right back up and then went and uh, uh, and put in that 77 high. That 77 high is still weak. Uh, it is a double top, so uh, still looking for that to, uh, to get broken. And I think the next time we get back above 69, they'll actually uh, make a... Uh, 
a move. 74 and 73.50 is the first target uh, above 69. That's where the sellers stepped in the last uh, last uh, two times we got up there, and uh, that's our first real resistance above 69. So taking a look at uh, the overnight action, uh, our overnight high is uh, 68.50. It is a weak high. Uh, our overnight low is down at uh, 61 and a quarter, just uh, one tick above the uh, naked VPOC from yesterday. Uh, our VPOC is currently at 65, uh, right on the microcomposite VPOC, but we could get a shift up here uh, to the 66, 75, 67 area if we uh, trade more. Uh, in that area, but right now I'm going to just put it in at 65, right on top of our microcomposite VPOC, just below the value area. Uh, obviously, the uh, the uh, range high from yesterday and the uh, the range low from I'm sorry, the range high from the holiday uh, is going to be our first trade area looking to take out that overnight high. And then we've got that uh, 69 area. And then we do still have the naked VPOC from, uh, from the Friday at 70 and a quarter and the naked close. Uh, we still have the gap up here at 72. Uh, right now, our uh, 20 period ATR full session uh, daily is 1435. So off of the low overnight of 61 and a quarter, our upside daily ATR target uh, is at 75.75. So it continues to move up. And off of the uh, uh, high overnight, our downside daily ATR target is 54 and a quarter. We have kind of a toothy profile overnight, uh, but there is an LVN here at uh, 65.75. It's just above the uh, value area. I know these areas are tight, uh, but they're valid areas, so they're areas we have to watch for. Uh, we've got the naked close from yesterday at uh, 62.50 and the overnight low and that down here at the 60 and then just below that. We've got uh, the 6050. I'm actually going to move down to the 60 area. Uh, that's where the LVN was and the uh, the IB uh, low, and then the 57 area, and then all our numbers uh, remain the same. Uh, targeting the 52, 52.50 below the 54. And then 48, the next big target below 44 and a quarter, and then the uh, year open, and then our key line in the sand is uh, still down there. Is it still at 38? Yeah, 38 and a quarter. All right, so that's you know that's where we are. We do have news coming up in 10 minutes, uh, so you know we could make a new uh, you know overnight high, um, but we have to wait to see. In terms of hypothesis, uh, my hypothesis is basically going to flip over from my one and two yesterday. So uh, we're back above uh, value. So my main hypothesis uh, is a open auction just in range or just out of range, a move down into the uh, 60 area finding responsive buyers uh, between the 60 and 57 again, and then rotating us up through and targeting that uh, 70 and a quarter and the naked close at 72 and a quarter, chopping in this area and then pushing up into uh, that 74 to 75 area. Maybe a new all-time high today. Hard to tell. There is news and a lot of it uh, today uh, to spark the market. Hypo 2 is an open auction in range, a uh, move up, a breakout, 
take out the uh, overnight uh, high and then uh, hit the naked V pocket 70 and a quarter and somewhere between 70 and a quarter and 72, finding sellers stepping in again and rotating us down through to the 61, chopping in this area and then pushing through down to the 5250. You know, uh, I, I don't know if we're going to see a big day or another doji day. We've been seeing a lot of doji days lately as we chop around in this uh, in this uh, balance. We're getting kurtosis here uh, around the 65 area. Hypo 3 is an open drive or an open test drive. Failure to close the gap, push up through to the 70 uh, uh, and a quarter chop in this area and then push through and go up into the uh, you know the 77 and take out that all-time high and push into uh, that first measured move at 78 75 and into uh, the 80s uh, here uh, and then hypo 4 is a uh, failure to break out a push down through to the 60 area chop test the 57, fail, and then push down all the way down into the 44 area and down here at uh, the year open. Uh, those are my four main hypotheses. Nobody can tell you what the market is going to do. We can only have a plan in place. Then we uh, recognize what the market is doing, who's in control, and then see what plan, which hypothesis fits, and then execute on that particular plan. In terms of gold, uh, you know, gold is stalling out here. You know, our our main target, if you recall, uh, our next big target was the uh, the uh, 1560 area. Uh, you know, we we hit that uh, yesterday, and then last night we just uh, were chopping back and forth around it, and uh, we currently have a uh, uh, a fractal high at 1880. That's the, the level to, uh, to watch. If we, where am I? hold on a second, I'm going to put a profile back in that disappeared on me. Uh, if we get above the uh, 1880, the next target above is the 1233.70. And that's going to be our next big resistance up there as well. Anything above the 1234, now I'm looking for moving back to the composite VPOC up at the 6650. Uh, I think we're going to retrace first, uh, but see how high they can uh, take it. I'm watching the 1208 area below the 1208. Now I'm looking for a move back into the 1202, 1200 area. And uh, if that doesn't hold, a move back into the 1180 area and back into the 74 to 78 area, uh, which was the target. On our, on our move up off of that uh, 27, uh, 24 area. Uh, so right now, likely to see gold uh, just uh, chop in this area, but if we get below the 09, uh, look for a bigger move down into test the 1200 area again. If we get above the 1880, look for them to travel the other side of this balance and up into the naked microcomposite VPOC and the CLVN at 1234. Remember that this price up here at the 1266.50 is the most traded price in gold going all the way back to uh, October of 2008. Anyway, that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.